Hey everybody, welcome into Simmo Gaming. We are back on with uh, Fisher Online and we are about to do a day session on uh, Visor Dam. So uh, we're going to use the feeder rods for this. I need to gain credits. So uh, let's do a session, try and get into uh, catching some big carp. Uh, we have done a daily session on this already today, so I won't be uh, I won't be able to uh, do that one again for income. Um, so this is purely catch for the keep net and sell. So let's get into the boat. Here we go. Okay, let's start the engine and get over. We're going to go over to this island over here that you see. Uh, and we're going to fish off the point. So let's start the engine up. And off we go. Should get there fairly quick. Just love this island for fishing off. Get there fairly quick. Fish splashing around, so we're going to fish in front of those reed beds. Is the idea? Right, let's get fishing. Let's just check out the rod situation. Okay, on this rod, we have got an upgraded reel uh, this time, which is the 3000 SFX, which is uh, friction 26 pounds, power 13 pounds. We've got the bell, we've got the bottom weight, which is 0 0.53 ounce. We've got a leader, 25 pounds, size two hook, corn, an SF car vanilla uh, attractant. So let's just get this rod out. Uh, set the rod to 11, uh, sorry, the reel uh, spool to 11. Let's just set the rod. Perfect. Rod one, set. Rod two, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, oh, I probably need to get some feed actually. Let's put the SF cap on there. There we go. It's exactly the same setup. Cast that one straight out there. There she goes. Awesome. Let's just set that one. There you go, we are fishing folks, we are fishing. So just to give you a little bit of geography, this is the Visor Dam on Fisher Online and we are fishing at the top end of it. We've got the sort of little hydro facility down the bottom there, you can see the dam. Um, we were fishing uh, last time in that location right there, which was quite productive. So we've switched it around, come over to the island using a little dinghy that I've got here with a little uh, engine on it which I'm going to use for pike fishing and trolling later on at some point and um, that's part of the reason for gaining credits because I just want to get the lures for uh, doing some trolling on here with that uh, dinghy so let's just see how we go I was fishing this um, earlier on and it was a bit quiet to be fair so let's see how we go I'm hoping that we actually get some decent carp on here. A little bit of cloud cover. Got dynamic weather on here, can see the clouds are moving. It's 
got a single sweet corner on each here. And you've got, got a corner on two, corn on one. I have got a float rod set up but I won't be using that in this session. Keep net is empty. We upgraded the keep net too so we could actually get more weight in it. So yeah the point of this is to fill that keep net up, take it back over to the shop, sell it and uh, the little van there you can actually sell all your fish and whatnot so you can gain credits and then quickly get back over continue fishing like I say the daily challenge we've already completed it and I used the money for that to get my reels daily quests mm, whales catfish we're not fishing for catfish it'd be good to do that at night though actually um, these are just consumables it's more credits I'm interested in Challenges are not quite as good today. We are level eight, leveled up, so we've unlocked the next uh, waterway, which is Russia. You can see here. It just looks like it's. I'm not sure if it's a lake or a river. Um, so the next goal for us is Poland, which is 14. Should be good. So here we go. But it has been fairly quiet this um, spot this morning, so I'm just keen to see how it, how it progresses. Oh, we're off and running, straight away, there we go, into a fish, that's just what we want, Let's keep that pressure on. So we've got a better reel this time round, and we've got better line. So hopefully, should be able to fill the uh, keep net. Got a trophy catch this morning, which was a large cushion. So that was good. I hope you enjoy your uh, your fishing. Do you enjoy your fishing videos? Do you like uh, watching fishing on YouTube? Do you play fishing games? Or have you played this game? Um, I've done a lot of uh, the catch cap and course and Bassmaster and fishing symbols and all that stuff. But I think by far this is the best fishing sim out there. Really easy to get into. Fantastic animation and graphics, especially in 4K. Got a nice grass cap here. I think is that a grass cap? Yeah. Awesome, makes it a little bit easier to bring in. Let's get, get the net. Nice 11 pound fish to start with. Just exactly what we needed. Let's get this rod out again. So that's just on the single sweet cone. Good long cast out. Just tighten that line up. Press Y, press K. Just sit back a little bit. Patience is the key in this game. Oh, I just grab my drink. So, hoping to do about an hour session here. So, yeah, the whole aim of this is basically, whoa, one's away again. Goodness me, one's gonna be a popular rod today, I think. Um, yeah, there's a specific lure that I need to get a hold of for pike fishing on here. And it is so fantastic that we can actually use the dinghy with the engine to troll for pike. This looks a little bit frisky, this fish. I'm not sure if it is. Um, I think this could be a grass carp. This looks a little bit lively. This is very lively, shooting across the lake.
It's very lively. I think it's a grass cart, this one. Yeah. I think so. Right, what have we got? It's a big one. Scoop. Grass cart, £9. We'll take that. Thank you. Keep nets filling up quick. Do love fishing this sport. It's just so, so good. It's a little bit of a sort of beach on it. Always press the K key just to tighten the line up and just make sure that the rod is in touch with the line properly. Like I say, the spools are set to 12. Now, because I upgraded the spool, obviously it's a bit more powerful. On my old reel, I'd set the uh, tension up to about 18 or 19. So if a fish grabbed it, it could still pull it. Um, the max was 20. On this one, tried the same thing, didn't work. And it broke a rod that I had. Um, so I've had to buy a new rod. Because every time you break a rod and you repair it, you actually weaken it. So you have to be careful with that one. So I've got these set to 11, the spools, which is just enough give. Allows me to play the fish. Now, of course, it depends on the size of the fish at the other end of it, but generally speaking, that's kind of where we're at. 21 pound carp is the biggest carp that I've caught out here. Uh, I think that was a, I think it was a common carp, I think it was. I don't think it was a, Mirror, here we go, we're we'll back in here with another comment. Let's just get this landing net out. There we go, he's in the bag. Eight pounds, nine ounce. I'm gonna get plenty of cash for this. <coughs> so yeah, it's just something that you can do. If you if you don't want to do the challenges, you can just get yourself set up to catch some reasonable sized carp. Get it in the keep net. And then was it back to the van and sell it? And they'll give you cash. Now, if you've got some weighty fish in there, you can get anywhere like 70, 80, 90, 100 credits, depending on the size of carp, the fish that you've got in the keep net. Always advisable to upgrade your keep net too from, from the one that, the, that you normally start off with um, because you want to get as much weight in there as possible. Absolutely amazing setting. Now this, I was reading uh, a little bit about this uh, this game. Um, so this is Fisher Online. You can buy it on Steam for 11 quid. Cheap as chips, but just, I mean, I'm not being funny. Look at it. It is just a sensational game. I would promote this all day long, this game. I really would. I think it's fantastic. The detail that they've got in here is incredible. From the little minnows swimming around to the little insects on the surface to the fish jumping to the translucency of the water, the, the, the water effects, the whole thing, the dynamic weather, it's just incredible. There you go, is that, God, which one's that? Is that this two, I think? Whoa. Didn't even see that rod move then. Too busy talking. Feels maybe a little bit heavier this fish. Yeah, it's definitely heavier. Let's turn it up to 12. Just gotta be a little bit careful. You can see the line going red on the bottom, so just that's just really pulling on the Got to be careful not to break it, really. Can be tricky with large fish, I gotta say. Can be tricky. Just gotta play it as best we can. So I've got my finger on the right hand mouse button, which keeps the rod high. The idea is to tire the fish out. And obviously not let it take as much line as possible. So it's a careful balancing act. <laughs> God, this is this is a reasonable fish. This because I, I can tell by 
the fact it's not tiring, it's just hanging in the water. We are gaining on it. It's still putting a lot of pressure on the line. It's just rising there. Can we get a glimpse of it, maybe? Just zooming in. There it is. I can see it under the surface. God, it's a big one. Just keep that rod up. Try and keep the head up. It's coming in. This is a good fish, this one. This could be a 20 odd pound. Wow, big cap. Oh my God. Keep it up. Keep the head up. Keep the head up. Keep the head up. Just try and bring it in the last minute. We've got it. 21 pound, 9 ounce. Epic, epic fish, epic fish. On the corn, on the corn. That's what we want. That's from keeping it up. Right, so what I'm going to do now, just put that rod down. And for the, just because I just don't trust it, I'm just going to wind this in dead quick. We're going to go and get rid of this fish. It's in the keep net now. I'm not going to just get rid of them and throw them back because I need the credit. So I'm going to sell the fish. So let's go E. Let's lift the anchor. Let's push the boat out. Brilliant. Let's turn around. Let's start the engine. Let's just leave the rods there. No one's going to touch them. Gonna head back over to the uh, shop. Head back over, got rid of that. 75 credits we got for there, which is excellent. Uh, let's get this. Oh, anchor. There we go. Let's take the, uh, push the boat out. So this is what I mean. So if you need credits, just try and get the weightiest fish you can. Fill your keep net, bring it over and sell the fish. And if you can do that, You can earn yourself some decent credits to start buying some tackle. So like I say, the whole point of this was really to get hold of a specific lure. I'll show you in a second on my uh, phone for pike fishing on here. So every fish obviously has its own either bait or lures or whatever. And you can find out about all the fish on the lake using your mobile phone. Press Q, look at your phone and uh, it'll tell you about the fish on the lake which is which is just great let's just cut that there we go just want to come in a little bit slow perfect Love messing about in boats. The engine off, anchor. Awesome. Right, let's go and get the rods. Get casting out again. So we have now got an empty keep net. Let's get the rods back out again. Big cast. Yes. Let's just tighten that up. Good position. Excellent. Uh, rod two. Cast out. Similar sort of position, really. Where's that out? So both these rods are set up exactly the same way. 
No different. Right, we're fishing again. Let's see if we can get into another cap or two. So again, if we fill the keep net, depending on the weight, obviously the nice weight to your fish, the better. Then we, we can get 75, 80, 90 credits. And if we keep doing that, you soon build up, um, you know, spends for the shop. So the time is currently 12.53, top right hand corner, you can see. Really lucky with the uh, with the weather. So what you can do too, press Alt, go to chat. You can see if anybody else is catching on here, which is quite good. So you can see the fish that I've caught there: twenty-one pound nine ounce, eight pound nine ounce. Oh, leveled up to level nine. Awesome. Eleven pounds seven ounce. So we're doing alright, we're doing alright. Very clear day, light cloud. Just that little bit of uh, cover would be useful. Stand back a little bit from the rods. So glad I upgraded these reels though. Needed it badly. Needed it badly. So we're sort of getting into the 21, 25 pound carp range as we begin to upgrade our tackle. Just love these feeder rods with the uh, cover tips on the ends, it's really cool. Bright orange. I think you can choose your colour too, can't you? You can choo choose a different colour. These really show up at night, by the way, so you do have a little torch that you can use but you know you don't have to have that on all the time i tend to just put it on when i need it um but even without the torch you can see the quiver tips really day glow orange bright in the evening uh, evening light it's just pretty cool So I don't know if you can notice, but if you look at where the line is actually entering the water, you can see the little ripples on the line. It's that level of detail that I particularly love about this, because if you are a fisherman, you go fishing, you're a fisheries or canals or lakes or whatever, and you can spend hours looking at the rod, you notice these things. And it's great to see it replicated in a game, actually. I don't know many other games that have replicated it this well. So, um, so that's pretty cool. So one thing I do want to buy from the shop at some point when I get enough credits is um, a seat. It'd be good to get a seat. There is a VIP um, system on here where you can physically buy credits um, with real money. Um, I haven't used that yet, so I've just been levelling up and whatnot. Just trying to open up different waterways. Swim's going a bit quiet now. You can get a catapult too, where you can actually uh, fire out some uh, boilies or whatever. Corn, boilies, whatever you want. And of course you can mix up ground baits and stuff in this. So all that stuff we're going to get into a little bit later on. This is just pure basic feeder rod fishing. Just using single sweet corn. 1346 is the time. There we go. Rod one's away again. 
Let's quickly grab that rod one. Straight into another fish. They've got the action of the reel really good in this, this game too, I must admit. That spool is just perfectly animated. I think we're into another carp here. Just sort of quite slow, hanging around in the water. Not like the grass carp, we tend to dart everywhere. A little bit more of a slim fish, that one. Do you think the spool tension is just set to 11 or 12, I think? Let's just gradually bring in. I only discovered that I had um, a landing net too by pressing spacebar. So if you press F1, it gives you all the little quick help keys, but it doesn't tell you about the spacebar. So if you're wondering why I'm able to do that, I didn't buy I didn't buy a landing net. It's actually press spacebar. There you go. Scoop it up. Ten pound cap. Thank you very much. Good job. Let's cast that out again. Splash. I love that noise when it hits the water. So yeah, just press spacebar and your landing net will magically appear. That felt a bit heavy. Interesting, Raw 2 seems to be catching quite heavy fish. But yeah, the other good thing I like is you have to be quite specific about your setups and stuff, I think. You know, so make sure, you know, get a setup that you're happy with. And um, I tend to use that on all my feeder rods at the minute. So you get a nice balance of being able to catch reasonable sized fish and land them successfully. You can see the line tension here is like, it's red. You see it red in the bottom of the screen? So you just got to be a little bit careful, make sure there's a little bit of give in that reel. This one's set to 12, I think. It's just probably at the limit of the line, reel and rod. Yeah, another decent carp. Here we go, let's see if we can get this in. Another common. See that orangey red tail. Let's get the net, quick. Scoop it up. Oh, it's another 10 pounder. We'll take that all day long. Thank you very much. And the other rod's off. We're busy. Busy, busy, busy session. Good though. That's what we needed. Take your time, it'll stay on there. Quickly. That's why we have the bells, you see. Whoa, this feels heavy. Okay, let's just move over a bit. This feels a bit heavy. Definitely heavy this fish, just taking a little bit of line, more than usual. But keep the rod up high, keep the pressure on. It's taking half the line out actually. I need to try and increase. Let's put it at 13. Might be a bit too much. It's taking more line than I want it to really. It's not tiring. I don't really want to put too much pressure on it. Fourteen. It's a little bit more. Still taking line. Yeah, big fish. Too big a fish. That's what happens, you see. You break your rod. So you put too much pressure on, you break your rod. So, uh, let's press I. Let's have a look at rod. Let's have a look at the rods. Where are we? Rods, rods, rods. That one there. So that one broke. 
So what we can do is we can do a repair on it. Um, do a quick repair on it. It will weaken it slightly. We just have to be mindful of that. So that's that road back, back with us now. Uh, that was road one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's just check that everything's there. Yep, so the, this rod's now active again. I've just repaired it. Um, let me just uh, check. Yeah, it can be funny sometimes when you... Uh, you break rods and stuff, but it does weaken them. You have to just be mindful of the fact. Okay. So I've still got rod two active. Just can't bring this one in. So the other um, thing that we need to do is is obviously make sure that we've got the best feeder rods possible. So make sure we've got nice strong rods. I think these ones are the basic rods. So that's another challenge for us to do. But it's all good. So let's just get rod one out again. I'm just going to cast rod one back out here. So this one's ever so slightly weaker. Let's just bring that down to 12. But yeah, you can only do so much, you see, with the rods before the strain is too much and they break. So I find that if a rod breaks twice and I've repaired it twice if it happens again I just generally I'll get rid of the rod and I'll just buy a new rod so definitely need to get um, a lot more credits to be able to tackle up get more um, sturdier um, there you go that's the second rod sturdier uh, kit so if I can get through this session fill up the keep net this doesn't feel particularly weighty this one um, sell the fish again It's all about fishing, upgrading, tackle, fishing, upgrading, tackle. Until so you've got some really good kit. It's another smaller grass cap. Let's get the net. Net, please. Oh, thank you. Five pound. Two. All right, that one's away again. Hopefully. It's not going to break the rod this time. Might break the line, though. But you see how useful, um, you know, selling the fish is really. So, I could I could spend twenty seven credits and fix this rod um, during the session. So, that's quite quite good. And of course, every time you catch, you are working towards your level up targets. Just wind this one in a little bit slowly. I can see it. About a seven, six, seven pound carp. Let's make sure we are on the edge of the water. Let's get the keep net. I keep calling it a keep net. Six pound that one is. The landing net. Awesome. One more fish will fill that keep net. Let's get that out. Brilliant. 
Just tighten the rod up. Perfect. Oh, and one's away. That's handy. Oh, sorry, not one. Uh, two. I've got the rods mixed around a little bit. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Perfect. Too far away. Two. Oh, God, this feels a weighty fish. So what might happen here, we'll play this fish, but it might just take the line out. We might land it, but it might take the line out, and if it takes the line out, it'll come off. It means that, you know, the weight of fish is at the limit for the tackle that I've got, so. Just got to be nice and careful. Keep that rod up high. Try and keep the fish head up high. If we can get it to take a few gulps of air, that would help. That was a good little uh, run, that, initially. Let's have a look. You can see it. No, it's not too big. Need about another six or seven pound. Common. Get it on the net. Perfect. Oh, it's a nine pounder. I take that back. I think we're probably there now. We've filled it. I think we probably have now. Okay, let's um, put that rod down. Uh, I think we should bring this rod in. Just because I don't want a fish to take it and then come back and then realise that, oh god, I've lost, like, I have my tackle. I don't want that to happen. Right, let's just leave them there. Let's go and get rid of this fish. Pull the anchor up, let's push out. Ah, now can we, oh, there right. we go. Get rid of this fish. We have a full keep net. Oh. I always have a habit of switching the boat engine off. Should just be slowing it down. Switch it off now. Perfect. Excellent. Press E. I'm gonna get 66 for that lot. It's taking us up to 178. That's tidy. That's tidy. Okay, let's just check the cost of uh, feeder rods. So that's the one we've got. So 39 pounds, 300 credits we need. That's what we need. That's what we need. We need 300 credits for that rod, which is a 39 pound rod, 3 meters. Okay, so the ones we're using are only 17 pound. Okay. I love how that you can buy that bad. So if you if you want to start a club, you can start a club in here, which is good. Uh, travels. There's a couple of DLCs that you can buy for this. Actually, there's America and China, I think. And 
this is what we want to buy is this one here viral tail shard m3 this one that's what we need to troll for carp so i'm kind of slightly tempted to buy it but i'm also thinking it'd be good just to keep going on the mission that we're on at the minute and actually just keep increasing our credit total because I really need to buy two rods and get the best strength rods that I can just turn the boat around head back over because trawling in this is brilliant so what you do is you just pop your rod in, in here and uh, yeah just troll for pike which should be pretty cool I want to make sure we've got exactly the right lures to do the job cast out again so you're getting adjusted to what I'm doing in this session now all right so this is this is road two so I'm actually gonna move this road back a little bit I'm just gonna sit it in I'm gonna sit it in here actually Uh, and this will be rod two. It's going to switch them round, so I've got them in order, and I know which rod's which. Perfect. Bravo. Just tighten that up a little bit. Excellent. So rod one, rod two. Seventeen twenty-four. We're good to fill the keep net up again before dusk. I think we're going to probably have to do about three f sessions, I reckon. Uh, quests. Yeah, there's no. There's only consumables. And experience, look. Like, so there's no income ones left. We have done that one, did that one before, so that's fine. I guess after we get to midnight, then we'll be on to some new new quest. This feels a bit weighty. I just need that little bit of give on the reel. Whoa! This is darting around, I think this is a grass carp, yeah. That's what this is. You can tell by how quickly it's cutting through the water. Oh, splash, 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 keep the head up. God, it moves like a bullet. Come on. Yeah, God, it's a lively fish. We're getting in on it though. Looks like a salmon. Does look like a salmon. 
And there she is. She's in the keeping there. 11 pounder. Awesome. Pure muscle. That's got us well established. Still fishing the corn to make sure we don't run out of corn actually. Take a little screenshot of that. Oh, straight away. Straight away. There's no messing. Now you see how this one isn't cutting through the water, so this is more... Your standard common carp or mirror carp, not as lively, a little bit sluggish in the water, heavy. It's not a 21 pounder. It's been alright this swim, it's been quite good today really, it, was, it wasn't so good this morning early, early on. Currently just sitting at six o'clock. So the light will be fading soon. Yeah, it's just a nice common. Let's just keep the head up. Bring him in. Nice and easy. There he is. Awesome. Six pound. One ounce. We'll take that one. Definitely need to make sure that we've got enough uh, sweet corn because I ran out of it before. I think I just bought one lot of it for this session, so I'm definitely going to have to get more sweet corn, that's for sure. Rod 2 has been a bit quiet. See it's a little bit hazy, that sun's moved round so it was over there this, this morning and now it's right there. Start losing the light fairly soon. It's getting a little bit duller. It's coming up for half past six. I won't be fishing through in tonight uh, on this session. Uh, We'll keep that for another time, I think. But yeah, it's been good to do this this day session and actually just fish for credits. Let's pull up to another good sized fish. Whoa, we're on the run. Grass carp again. You can see it whizzing through the water. That was a good take. Whoa, splish splash. Just keep the rod high. Whoa. Great fishing. Fishing into the sun. It is. Yeah. Can't wait to catch uh, pike on here. Go trolling for pike, that'll be good fun. Look at this. Here he comes. Here he comes, don't get spooked out. In she comes. £12, thank you. Keep nets nearly full. Let's get that rod straight back out. Got some weighty fish in there now.
Oh, right away. There was no mess in there, was there? This is a common, I think. Common or mirror. I haven't caught many mirror cap today. I think we caught we caught a few last night. I'm just gonna have to hold on to this fish and hope that we can bring it in. It's taking line a little bit. A stalemate. Is it pulling on the rod? Don't want to put too much pressure on, it'll snap the line. Just got a little bit of give. Try and tire it out. This could be another 20 pounder. Just broke the surface there. So we're gaining on it now, tiring it out. That rod high, there, there she is. Coming in slowly. Just put a little bit more speed on the reel. Just pressing shift. Now that we've tired the fish out, it's coming in fairly easy now. Oh, it's a mirror. It's a big mirror. This is awesome. Try and get the landing net on it. And it's in. £21.12 ounce mirror. Oh, that's awesome. That's the biggest mirror I've caught. That is the biggest mirror fish I have caught on this lake. Look at that bad boy. Keep nets full. Right. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to put that rod away. I'm going to bring this rod in. Let's just bring it in. I'm going to head back, get rid of these fish, get our credits, and we'll call it quits on this session because that's been fantastic, really productive. Certainly the biggest mirror uh, carp I've caught on here, £21 plus, which is excellent. Let's turn the boat around, start the engine. And off we go. So that was just fishing off that point there in Ireland. You can see how productive that was. Great, great swim that. I haven't fished any of these parts around here actually, so that's going to be another challenge. I'm quite, being quite interested to try that point there, the opposite end of the island. So we'll do that. Let's get this boat in. Good fun. Good fun. And you can see the bottom actually as you get shallow. See the bottom there? You see it as you're getting shallow. You can see the bottom there. Who needs that? They've thought of everything. Perfect. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, 90. 268 we've got now. That is so good. That is really good. One thing that I am going to do, just because I want to get a hold of it, is make sure that we have that one bought. Thank you. So now we can go pike 
fishing. So let's just keep the 148 in our pocket for now. Let's just check the daily challenge. Not come up yet. Quests. No, not yet. We're not there yet. We've got to get past midnight. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Drop us a sub. Drop us a like. Let us know if you've played this before. And what's your favourite lake? What's your favourite setup, actually? Um, this is a great contrast to the catch, carp and course. This is a little bit more simplified than this. This is what I would regard as a proper like simulation of angling, fishing, course fishing. Thoroughly recommend um, you pick this game up on Steam. I can't recommend it enough. Um, it looks great, especially if you can play it in 4K and stuff. Um, just set everything on Ultra and away you go. You'll have a blast. So until the next time, um, it's Simul Gaming signing out. Catch you again.